Hello everyone. In the previous video, we are successfully able to store our file into our specific directory. So now the time is to work on this landscape and portrait. So we are going to generate the landscape or portrait PDF. So how to do this? So let's close all of the files and go to our project. In the project, we need to add this uh, a set paper and then we need to set this uh, paper size and then we need to specify its uh, type uh, we are going to landscape or portrait so let's go to the project and here now you can call this i'm going to add this so uh, after this one okay set paper and uh, here you need to space first parameter would be the type i'm going to generate the a4 size and then i'm going to specify the landscape so first i'm going to add this uh, uh, portrait i don't know what's the spelling of this uh, portrait so that's why i'm going to google it and then going to copy this one okay save this one and let's generate this pdf again and uh, yes it's generated and it's stored uh, here so let's uh, click on this public and uh, what's the newer one it's this one because the time is uh, differentiating that it's this one okay it's now this one so i think it looks a little bit different so, oh no it's not looking different right i think it looks same how we can validate that this would be uh different size uh, template let me close this out and generate it again so i'm going to delete uh, these uh, all of the pdf from there and going to generate regenerate again generate pdf okay it's generated let's open this out and then we are going to generate the landscape and make the difference between them okay so go back and now I'm going to add a landscape. I think my um, my spellings are correct. I know what's the spelling of this landscape. So let's go to the documentation and verify it. And yes, my spellings are correct. So let's hit enter and uh, uh, let's wait for a moment to reload. And yes, our file is generated. So let's click on this public and open another file okay so now this one is also generated our portrait and landscape is totally same we don't know what's the difference so let me uh, make the difference uh, from any uh, any of the software so I'll, i will shoot this and come back okay so i'm back and uh, here i have added this uh, a1 for differentiation because i'm still unable to differentiate between landscape and portrait the portrait is in the vertical form but it's behaving the same right so that's why i did this a1 and let's generate this pdf and go to our project and let's open this out and it's uh, making difference that uh, the a1 format is looking like this right so if I go back uh, and add this uh, A2 and generate the PDF again, let's go back, generate PDF and it's added. So let's open this out and it's uh, going a little bit to uh, little bit different, right? So it's width is this one and it's this, oh no, it's uh, I think zooming power. So I zoom this out, that's why it's behaving like this. So if I go back and again add this to uh, A4, so go back and generate the PDF. And uh, yes, it's generated. So let's open this out. And yes, it's now having different, right? So let's close this out and uh, close all tabs. I'm going to open them again. I think my I zoomed out these files. That's why it's behaving different. And yes, now it's different. So it means that we are successfully able to generate the PDF file based on paper size. So you can generate A4, A5. I don't know what's the type of this uh, paper. And here you can generate the portrait and landscape. 
So hope you get an idea. So if you like this video, subscribe the YouTube channel and stay connected for the next videos. Bye bye.